Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know that 99% uh, of you that are watching this um, follow my channel because of the, the Elvis workshop, but I also love to cook. I love it. Um, so I actually had a, what I hope is a great idea uh, pop into my head today. I thought, you know what I should do? It, because I love cooking and I, I know a lot of my own recipes that I cook all the time, but I just thought to expand my own horizons and to make fun videos, I thought what I'll do is I'll just look up a random menu on the internet, uh, watch a video or read their menu uh, or their recipe instructions and then make it and see how it turns out. So, so what I chose is uh, smoked macaroni and cheese. That'll be my first video. So what I've got here is I have four um, New York strip steaks, bone in, and all the ingredients for macaroni and cheese with bacon. So let me show you, hopefully I don't knock everything over here, but so you can see right there, I've got these have been ready since yesterday. And then I have all these ingredients here to make macaroni. So it's not just a box of, um, of uh, macaroni going into a pan and then stirring it up. So my brother's gonna make fun of me because when I was a kid, all I did was make macaroni. I was like the macaroni master because it takes you know 20 minutes, it's easy. You put all the stuff in. The one time I screwed up, I put the noodles in before the water boiled and they were super soggy and he never lets me forget that. But, so anyway, I'm going to make somebody else's recipe. I don't know who it is. I just looked up some random video on YouTube. I watched the video and as they were talking, I just typed out their, their uh, menu or their recipe. And so then I have all the, all the pieces here that were in the video and I'm gonna give it a go. So I've got my, my steaks that have been marinating since yesterday. They're ready to go on the smoker right now. And I'm going to um, start cooking. I've got the, uh, the iron skillets here. By the way, I only cook in iron skillets. Iron skillet there, that's a 12 inch, I think. And that's a 15 inch. And then I've got that back there. That's also an iron skillet, but it's, it's coated with porcelain or whatever that is. Anyway, that's all I cook on. Or cook with so and then I've got the Traeger grill out back so I'm gonna get started let's go you ready let's go okay first thing that the recipe calls for is butter I've got the pan nice and hot we're gonna get that nice sizzle sound and I'm gonna throw this in here and then the race is on to not mess it up so here we go next cheap store brand flour It says about four tablespoons of flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go like this and go, that's almost four. Let me do like, that's probably a little bit more than four. <laughs> it says to use a whisk, I need to get a whisk. Hang on. I got a whisk. So it says to stir, stir this up. Oh boy, that didn't go the way I wanted. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, there it works. There we go. It said to use a wisp so there was no clumps of flour. So there will be no clumps of flour. Now, oh, I should have done this before. Well, that came off pretty easily. One tablespoon of uh, ground mustard. So let's just go. That's probably a little bit more than a tablespoon, but I love mustard, so I'm okay with that. Mix it up. Now, next, half and half. It says two cups of half and half. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump the whole thing in here because whatever I don't use is gonna go in the trash. So I can just reduce it down so, whoa, there we go. Oops, got a little on the floor. It'll be all right. All right, so that'll bring the temperature down a little bit because it was a little bit too hot. All right. Now, I've lowered the temperature a little bit because I think I had it a little bit too high. Next is cream cheese. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, stop the video, cut this all up and come back, save you some time. Okay, that actually saved about, I don't know, three and a half total seconds. So it said 
four ounces of cream cheese, and this is an eight ounce pack. So I just sliced it right down the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in here. This will help cool it a little bit too. So I don't splash myself. Yes, I'm using a wisp to get off that little bit of cream cheese. Every ounce of cream cheese is, is important. All right, so I need to let this just settle for a little bit. And then I need to get these noodles going. The water is boiling. Oh, that looks so good. It smells amazing, I can't even tell you. But I love cream cheese. Now, next is cheese. So it says to put this in. I'm gonna put the whole bag, well, let's see. Let me see, eight ounces, let's see what this says. Well, it's cups here, so. Well, I'm just gonna put all of it. It'll be all right. We're making macaroni and cheese. We need, we need cheese. Okay, so mix that in. Next is Gouda cheese. And I had a little bit of a problem. At the store, oops. At the store, they did not have shredded Gouda. So they only had a block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the block and I'm going to cut it into very small pieces and then put it in the pan. So let's go over here. Let's just turn turn this. There we go. Move you to the side. Try to get this off here without cutting myself. All right. Nice. Not edible. This goes in the trash. So what I'm gonna do is cut these in smaller pieces so they'll melt. Now I'm just gonna pick those up and just put them all right here in the pan. There we go. And we got our water boiling up here, almost, almost boiling. Put a little salt, we're high up in the elevation. Take a little bit longer to boil. Let's mix this in. So if you watched my last video, I really prefer right to bacon and could not find any at the store. Well, this time when I went, they had plenty of it. So that was good. So I'm gonna put in three, four, five, six slices. But you know what I'm gonna to do to make it cook faster and also be problem free later is I'm gonna cut it beforehand. So let's go ahead and do that. And here's the bacon. Let's get it in the pan. Ooh, I love that sound. When you hit the fresh hot pan with something and you get that brand new sizzle sound, that is the best. Okay, the smoker needs to be at 220 degrees. Smoker needs to be at 220 degrees, so the next step is to go start the smoker. Bacon is on, baby. So put a little bit of salt over there. So add a little bit of butter, and the butter is to keep the noodles from sticking to the pan and sticking to each other. All right, so it's time to go start the smoker. So let's go out there and do that. Look at this cool sign I just got. I just put this up today. World famous, no fork necessary, grilling and chilling on barbecue. So here's the grill. You got the Traeger grill out here. So the way you start these is you put it right here, the first level up, and then you leave it open, and then it starts to smoke. And once it gets to a certain temperature, you throw your food on, and then you shut the grill and set your temperature. So it takes about five minutes. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll come back. All right, so we're back here in the kitchen. My Gouda cheese is not really melting that much, but that's okay because I'm gonna throw it in the smoker, and it'll melt in the smoker. And then I can mix it up and it'll be fine. But it's still pretty hot in here. It's still melting a little bit, but it's actually working out okay. It would be better if it was shredded, but that's okay. Man, this, oh, man, this looks, Amazing. Get the bacon going here a little bit. I'm glad I chopped it up beforehand 
probably a little bit too big. I might pop some more in the pan once it's cooking down a little bit. But it beats trying to chop it up later. I guess I can let it cool and then chop it, but this will work just fine for what I'm doing. Man, smells great. I can't wait. Have me a little bit of macaroni and cheese with my steaks. All right, so the Gouda has been sitting in here in this heat, even though the fire is off, and it has melted just about enough to where it freely flows when I mix it up. So it's getting a good ratio all through instead of big chunks of Gouda, and it is looking great. Next thing is, I'm gonna turn off the bacon, and I'm gonna get my trusty heating pad, heat pad, heating pad, heating pad. <laughs> Not a heating pad. And take this bacon and I'm deposit it right in there. If a little bit of bacon juice gets in there, what that is called is added flavor, baby. I'm not worried about it even a little bit. So that's going to go in there. I'm not going to put all of it in there, just a little bit. All right. <clears throat> this pan can go away now. Get out of my way. Take this incorporate as my buddy chad says i'm gonna incorporate this bacon into my cheese make some macaroni and cheese with bacon this is good stuff man good stuff maynard you know remember that from the 80s so that bacon is now nicely infused and the heat from the bacon and the little bit of bacon juice bacon grease will also help that gouda melt and further incorporate into the cheese mix here which is wow all right smoker's ready so i'm gonna go put the steaks on and then i have to wait for these noodles to cook they're not even in yet wait for the noodles to cook and then put this on for like an hour and a half so but let's go let's go put the steaks on but before I put the steaks on, the water is boiling enough. It's not a rolling boil, but it's boiling. So let's go ahead and just deposit those noodles in and get those going. Those are not going to be cooked fully. They'll be al dente because they'll cook a little bit more when they are on the smoker. Let's go put these steaks on the grill. Grill sign. I said grill and it's a smoker. It's not a grill. So here we go. There it is. Place these on here one at a time. Of course, I can't do more than one at a time. I only have two hands. One is holding the camera, and one is putting the meat on. So I have some extra of that that I will put little bit here and there on as I'm smoking it. I'll come out and add a little bit to keep it nice and moist. And then the uh, macaroni is going to go right there. We'll be back. Okay, so my cousin Tony would tell me that I'm a cheater. I went ahead and put all the marinade on there now. Um, I don't want to keep opening the grill, the, the smoker up. So now I'm going to put my thermometers in. This is the cheating part. So I can push a button and find out what the temperature of the steaks are so I know when they're done. That's where my cousin calls me a cheater because he does it the traditional way, but I'm okay with that. So here we go. They are smoking away. Let's do this. I had to move the noodles up to the front burner because they were on that little tiny back burner and it just was not getting the job done. It was taking forever. So I've moved them to the front burner. Let's go, let's go. All right, I'm back. And there's my cheese, there's my macaroni. They need to go together. So this is cooked about al dente, about, about what I like. It's uh, this nice, it's not super stiff, it's not, it's not mushy, so it's al dente. So what I need to do is put it in the strainer here, and I'm gonna shock it a little bit to stop it from cooking so fast, and then I'm gonna mix it in here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, yes, I have dirty dishes in the sink. I'm in the middle of cooking. I'll get to that at the end. Anyway, here we go. 
We'll dump these noodles in there. Oh. And then we're gonna shock them. So I'm gonna take a little bit of cool water to stop the cooking process. Just kind of slow it down a little bit. It doesn't stop it, but just slow it down a little bit. Your noodles taste so much better when you do this, just so you know. Shock, 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 shock. Cool them down, cool them down. Slow down the cooking process. All right, let's put them in the other pan with the cheese. All right, here's the noodles. And we're gonna put them in with the cheese. Seems like a lot. I'll probably have some on the floor. <laughs> I don't think there's any probably about it. So macaroni and cheese is together. Now I have to get the cheese and the macaroni to kind of hang out together. This will be the fun slash tough part. Let's see how this goes. Again, the fun thing about this video was to find a recipe online that I've never made before and try to successfully make it. So the, the, the cool thing is, is, well, I don't know if it's a cool thing. There goes some macaroni. Is that I'm going to make some errors the first time. I mean, how many times do you make something the first couple times and, and then you figure it out? So I'm thinking my cheese might look a little bit thicker than it should be, but I could be wrong. I mean, I might cook it and it might come out perfectly. So I'm just going to keep mixing this up, keep mixing this up, and try to get it all together and then throw it on the smoker and who knows it might turn out great or it might turn out mushy or it might turn out super thick that's the fun of finding just some random recipe online and trying to make it more macaroni on the floor I think I might just have smoked noodles with a little bit of macaroni in the middle. I'm, I'm sorry, smoked noodles with a little bit of cheese in the middle. But, kind of getting this going here. It's actually kind of taking shape a little bit. And this is pretty much what I saw in the video also, by the way, to be fair to me. It's actually kind of taking shape a little bit. I think that the cheese might be a little bit thicker than I had anticipated, but you know what it probably is, and I'm guessing here, my noodle count might be a little high. But thankfully, a lot of it is hitting the floor. <laughs> it's kind of weeding itself out. But it looks actually really good. It's, it's kind of taking shape, really. Kind of kneading the dough, as it were. It's kind of kind of coming around actually and when it's in the smoker this cheese is going to heat up and melt and infuse a little bit more with the macaroni you know what i'm starting to think this might actually turn out really good my hand hurts <laughs> just to say uh just to let you know so i looked at a few four or five different menu uh, recipes i keep saying menu I looked at four or five different recipes and one or two had bacon and a few others did not. And I thought, I love bacon and that'll be a great addition to this. So the menu that I, the, damn it, the recipe that I settled on did not actually have bacon in it. But I thought, man, that'll be great. Macaroni and cheese with bacon in it. So I kind of went rogue and made my own recipe out of their recipe. Okay, so it actually turned out really good. Now, so one other step before we put this on the smoker. Crispy top. Let's go like this. Crispy top. So let's smooth this out. Wow, this actually turned out really good. I was, I was a little intimidated for a few minutes there thinking that I had really screwed up. I washed the stove before I started the video. Sprinkle some breadcrumbs on the top for that crusty goodness. I might have put too much. No, I didn't. It's okay. And then, brown sugar bourbon seasoning. 
So we're gonna season the top of the macaroni. Look at that. So I've got some breadcrumbs on there for goodness and crunchiness and some bourbon barbecue seasoning. Now, this is going to go on the grill, not a grill, smoker, for about an hour and a half. So let's go do that. Here we go. Let's put this macaroni on the smoker. See you in an hour and a half. Raining and smoking. Love it. Time for an update. It's rainy and cold and wet out here. Oh, look at that. We'll be back. Okay, so the macaroni has been resting for a few minutes. I'm just gonna dig in. It's, uh, it's so, oh, oh, crunchy, crunchy goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that steam coming out of there. Oh, that looks great, right? Look at those big chunks of bacon and cheese. We mix up this crunch here. Wow. All right, time to dig in. I hope you like my first, um, forte into um, digging up other people's recipes and uh, trying to figure them out. I'll let you know in the comments how this turned out, but I think you can tell by that how it turned out. And here is the finished product. Look at that. You can see the steam coming off of it. Look at the grill marks, the macaroni. Oh, that is beautiful. I'll tell you in the comments how it was. I said I was going to leave a comment. Um, this is a better comment. Here's the end result. It's gone. Thank you for watching.